Hey, good evening, everybody. Semi Thunder here. Uh, back again tonight with another video, and um, I uh, got an opportunity today to sell at my first baseball card show. I apologize that I didn't get enough footage, but uh, I did kind of like a panorama view video to showcase what the show looked like and uh, kind of gave you a brief overview of what my table looked like. All in all, uh, I thought it was just, I thought it was a success. I had to pay fifty dollars deposit for the table, and so my hope was that I would at least double uh, to be able to get my investment my deposit back for the fifty bucks, and then make about at least fifty dollars. And I definitely surpassed that, so I was able to. I don't know. I wasn't keeping track. I just wanted to make sure I got my fifty back ultimately, and I made fifty. So. Uh, the biggest sale of the day was a 66 Mickey Mantle. I'm sure I've shown it here before. Um, so I sold that for about 110. Uh, it had a crease in it, so it wasn't really in the best condition, but good enough for uh, somebody like a collector who would want it. So I asked 125. I uh, the the buyer wanted it for 100, and I sold it for 110. Uh, so I was happy to make that that uh, that sale. Uh, sold some other cards. There were some other, like, you know, uh, five, ten, twenty dollar cards that were being sold. So, uh, so it was good. I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot. It was a good experience. And so, you know, the key thing is you never want to just walk away from a card show without at least buying something. So, with some of my profits, I made some purchases. Now, what you're seeing on the top here is not from the show. This is uh, a mail, uh, some mail that I received a week ago. And I'm showing it to you today. So this is kind of like a, you know, um, two-part video. Or not a two-part video, but this is kind of a video that's combined of the card show results as well as some mail. So first one is this Juan Marichal rookie card that I picked up for, I don't know, 150 175 I bought it on uh, through Facebook and uh, through a seller. And so I wanted to get another San Francisco Giant rookie card. Since I got the McCovey, I figured why not get the Marischal too. Uh, the card is pretty good, you know, pretty good shape. Um, it's a little off center, as y'all can see, but nevertheless, and uh, I put this in a top loader. So what you're seeing in the back is not the price that I paid. And uh, but you know, it's a nice card, and so really sharp corners. And I've been getting into collecting Marischal cards. I think he, you know, it was really just, he was a great pitcher. Had a lot, you know, just really earned his, uh, earned his spot in the Hall of Fame. And um, really kind of just carried the, the Giants rotation. Now this one, I didn't buy from the show. This one actually my sister gave back to me. I must have given this to her back in 2006 as a gift because she was a huge Mets fan. And... Um, you know, I was actually, I must have, at the time, I wasn't collecting. I just had this in my collection from when I was a kid. And so for a long time, when I, since I got back into collecting, I was wondering what happened to the 69 Seaver. And so I realized, you know, 15 years ago, I gave this card to my sister. And so she was happy to, you know, I mean, it's not like I didn't ask for it back, but she was very nice to uh, hand it back to me. Um, so... It's kind of a cool miscut because clearly it's showing that it's going into another card. Um, but, you know, nevertheless, it has a nice story and I don't want to sell this even though it's miscut. I was thinking about doing it, but I did not. So uh, these are from the card show. So I got these three Bob Gibsons, all of them. So this is a 74s right here and these are the 73s. And uh, these Gibsons I got for twenty dollars. They're selling for ten a piece, and I talked the seller down to twenty for the three of them. And I guess he kind of wrote a little synopsis about how Jacob Degrom is trying to chase. He was trying to chase Bob Gibson this year, but due to his injury, did not get the opportunity to showcase that. So, but I love. I've been really big into collecting Bob Gibson cards, and so I, I thought these are three really good shape really good condition cards so I'm happy to add these to the collection got some basketball cards too um, I think the rest of the oh no there's a few more there's one more baseball um, got these cool all-star team stick uh, I think these are the cards these aren't stickers but we got a Charles Barkley oh, I'm off screen here 
Charles Barkley. Got a Patrick Ewing. This is an 89 Magic Johnson. Another Magic Johnson. Charles Barkley. And Akeem Olajuwon. I got these for uh, 20, uh, $15 for all, of the, for all these cards. Um, so I thought that was a good... I mean, I, I made the offer. I thought that was a fair price. Um, I think I might have come out a little ahead. But collectively... Yeah, you know, I think a lot of these cards are worth like a couple bucks. The Magic's probably worth about five, if not a little bit more. Um, so, and then here I got I paid ten dollars for this one. This is a James Worthy uh, NBA Hoops 1990 with uh, his autograph. So there's a kid sitting who there was a kid sitting up next to me selling modern cards, and I asked him if um, I asked him what he wanted this for. He said fifteen. I asked him if you do ten. And uh, he tried to get 12, but I really didn't want to spend more than 10 on this. Um, so he sold it to me for 10. So now I have my, one of my first autographs in my collection. I generally don't collect autographs, but I figured today would be a nice day to start. So I have a nice James Worthy. Uh, this one I was excited about. This one I found in another bin at the show. Uh, this one I think he was selling for 15. I asked, it, I asked, to for, I asked him for 10. There's a small crease. You can't really, you might be able to tell right here. Uh, but Hank Aaron, crease or not, it's a beautiful card to have in your collection. So this is from the 68 All Star, um, All Star set. So, and this is really exciting. All of these sleeved cards were for free. There's a kid with his dad. And I guess they were, it was up towards the end of the show. And I guess they just weren't, they didn't sell these. I don't think they had much interest in these older cards so i got these nba hoops cards like a barkley you got these barkley this bird and commemorative card these were all free he's just giving this giving them away clyde drexler here's a, all the nba hoops all-star cards a couple of jordans which i was surprised I, I didn't think you'd want to get sell the you know get rid of these for free but i was happy to take them <laughs> Magic Johnson NBA hoops. Here's some Bill Russell commemorative card. Commemorative more. Here's another James Worthy, Reggie Miller, Dominique, Akeem, James, and here's a Steve Kerr rookie card, which I imagine probably right now is doing well because uh, the Warriors are off to a hot start. So people want to have uh, you know any Steve Kerr memorabilia to kind of go along with maybe their um, what's his name, Why am I, uh, Steph Curry rookie card or something like that. But that about does it today. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And again, I'm sorry I didn't post. I didn't. I don't have more video footage of the card show. Um, I kind of just wanted to take it all in and enjoy the atmosphere. And uh, thought we did, thought I did pretty well today. And um, I'll definitely do it again. I had a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to sit there and have people appreciate and enjoy your cards. So uh, thank y'all so much. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I do vintage baseball and basketball cards. And again, uh, click on the link right on the upper right corner of your screen. Uh, I'm doing my VVR giveaway. Once I hit 200 subscribers, we will uh, re re uh, unveil three winners for the three cards I'm giving away. Uh, so check out that video and uh, definitely participate in it. Um, again, thank you all so much. Have a great night.